Hello there everybody, we're back with Chris after the Margate game here at the pilot field which completes two home wins for the U's, two clean sheets, six goals scored. A successful couple of games Chris? Yeah very good, very good. We, we, we set the, the lads a challenge really like after that big run of away games. You know, there's no point you know, picking up those points and doing those hard miles mm. if then you're, you're not going to sort of capitalise on it at home. And we said that, you know, we need to try and turn this place into a fortress again. I mean, it used, it used to be. Right? Yes. Um, and so, yeah, I think we've taken the first couple of steps towards it. I think that's four unbeaten at home now. Obviously, two, um, two wins, two clean sheets. Um yeah, a, a good start to sort of. We've got a good run of good run of fixtures in terms of like four out of five for at mm. home. Uh, Twin two out of twos, um, really pleasing. Puts the car short and loss behind us firmly. So, you know, really good few days. And the characteristics of the game fairly similar in that out of the traps pretty quickly. Yeah. And two fast goals for David. Two quick assists from John. Yeah. Um, Always good to get away like that, and any plans the opposing team have are instantly changed, aren't they? By that, yeah. I mean, I mean, we, we it's really good for us as a as a coaching staff as well because both games we felt it was a mismatch with John versus a fullback. I mean, that's going to happen most weeks because mm. John's John's uh, brilliant, brilliant football for the level, and and uh, you know, if there's a better winger at the level, I'd be surprised. Um, and he's getting better and better as well. So, you know, he works really hard. He's really conscientious. He's, um, he's done loads around his own individual performance. Like he's really reflective and, so, you know, he, he deserves the plaudits and the success he's had off the past, um, <clears throat> not just two games, but ever since I've really been in. So, um, you know, but we, we felt pre-match that we could, we could hurt the opposition in, in that area of the pitch. And, you know, we've done that. Obviously, there's plenty of times when you do plan for stuff and it doesn't work. Yes. But um, you know, credit to credit to the lads for following the plan. Credit to John for so cashing in in that in that mismatch, really. So you know, really really pleasing, really good start. Um, and we we always feel that if we go ahead, you know, I think we're a difficult team to chase because the more you come after us and the more you chase the scoreline, it gives us more space to potentially attack and or counter attack and um yeah no so similar to the Folkestone game really I felt mm. you know if we, we take a lead you know you, you're gonna be in a good position to go and go and see out over the line it's only really the Dulwich game where we haven't done that so no um yeah no really pleasing and again really pleased for John um he's been excellent last couple of games yeah that um hashtag game you pondered beforehand how they were going to come and play yeah. didn't you the goal brought them out immediately yeah. and exploiting that space behind them. Yeah. It's such a massive thing to have on your side, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, it, it, it's especially when you pair that with Tommy Penfold's passing range. Yes, um, for the second goal. Yeah, yeah. Like, so he's, he's got a wand of a left foot. Um, so that, you know, that, that relationship between Tommy and, and John in terms of... Um, Breaking the back line from deep, you know, going a little bit more back to front. Um, that's, a, that's a really, um, that's been really positive last couple of couple of games. So we just got to try and build on that. And um, again, credit to Tommy as well because he come out of the side against Carl Shorten, had a bit of an injury, would have been disappointed not to have been um, playing that, no doubt. And he's responded really well. He's come back into the side and two clean sheets, and he's played a big part in that. And obviously, he's been involved in a number of goals as well, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, and that defensive performance against Hashtag scored the two goals. Mm. The second half, we controlled the game. Mm. They had a sending off and the game was almost dead from there. Yeah. And then the clean sheet was almost inevitable, I guess, once they had the sending off. Yeah, because we were sort of umming and ahhing. Did we think it was a missed opportunity to like, go after them? And maybe that was my fault because I said to the players, I'd rather win 2-0 than 3-1. Whether or not that was the right thing to mm. do, because obviously goal difference is really important, yes. especially up where you know, it's pretty tight where we're at. And yeah. um, so perhaps that's a missed opportunity. But equally, I, oh, I love a clean sheet. I'd, I'd mm. rather win one nil than 
five four to be honest. Yeah. I'm, that's unfortunately <laughs> the way I'm built. So um, that's really pleasing. So as I said, I'm, perhaps we could have cashed in more, but I think a two nil victory against hashtag home or away is a, is a is a really good result because I think they're excellent. I, th- I think they're a really good side. So yeah. you see that tonight with they've beaten Chatham. So. Um, or they were beating Chatham at half time so right. unless that's changed so they're, they're a really good side and they're really dangerous so to any points off of hashtags um, really positive and to have taken six points out of six against them so um, you know we're really happy with that yeah and the only downside of that game was Sam McCoy took a bit of a clattering yeah. and absent this evening yeah. so we assume he's suffering from that a little bit. Yeah, he's got a reoccurring hip injury. Um, so he come off against Folkestone with it in the Velocity Trophy. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's disappointing because Sam's been great. Um, like all the lads, to be honest, they've all, they've all uh, contributed and, you know, they're, they're all playing their part. So, but again, like we said to him on Saturday, it's not just about the 11 players that are starting today's game. You know, for us to achieve what we want to achieve, it's going to take 20... 20 plus players to all contribute to all stand up and take responsibility so you know you know David's going to score goals you know yes. he's going to take responsibility you know Adam Love it's going to be a monster in midfield you know Ollie Black's going to defend brilliantly you know Charlie Granger's going to be you know he's going to be making big saves but that's not enough we need everyone to mm. to um, as I said step up take responsibility and contribute and we see that tonight with Freddie Legg who I thought was excellent um and Freddie's a bit unlucky as well because against Chesson he was one of our best players and he's been playing really well um, and we've just sort of decided to change the team a couple of times because we've opted for slightly more of a defensive approach um, whereas uh, credit to Freddie's come in tonight he's obviously frustrated because he hasn't played he's come into the side and I thought he was excellent and played mm. a big big part in a really good win and he has added that defensive side to his game yeah. by the looks of it yeah I he has to like mm. it's one of them like you know we, we want a group of players that are just as quick going back towards our own goal as they are the oppositions and I'm, I'm, I've been fortunate over the years John Oof is incredibly conscientious um, you know like when you go back Lam Razzies was the same like was desperate to keep clean sheets would would double up with the full back would protect his mate would stop crosses Daniel Adjikai was the same so mm. for all the goals Daniel scored he was brilliant at getting back in yeah as I said John's um, you know you don't even have to talk to John about doing that he's brilliant at it and now Freddie's adding that to his game so because um, ultimately like it's about trust as well when young players get an opportunity you know you need to trust them as a first team manager because ultimately if you don't trust them you know, they could cost you goals or you know if, if they're not going to track that run or if they're not going to get to the back post and make that last ditch block which means we're going to win the game one nil then ultimately you, you know for me as a as a first team manager where it's a results business you need to um you know you need players that you can trust and, and freddie's freddie's really showing that side to his game we know like going forwards he's he's dynamite um but the challenge is is can he contribute going back towards his own goal and he's doing that so I thought him and Tom played brilliantly together yeah. as a pair. So, yeah, re- really pleased with Freddie. Yeah, and obviously da- David's looking very sharp in front yeah. of goal. The goals are coming. The defence is looking more assured. Charlie is beginning to dominate his box. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you talked last time out about positional play and mm. players filling the right gaps and making yeah. the right runs and that. Yeah. Looks on the face of it as though that, is more settled we're happier with the positional play and yeah I, people are taking up yeah i think so i think some like with the car shorten game so that we were in a we're obviously doing relatively well leading up to the car shorten game we had the, the 10 games unbeaten and you know we were you know we were going well um and the car shorten game maybe it come at a good time because maybe one or two of the lads are getting a bit carried away and mm. like coming off script a little bit and you go well you know if you come off script it better work it's one of them. Um, and I just felt we lost our way in terms of like discipline against Carshaw. As I said, that they they set up um, in a certain way, which we and we have a group of players that you know weren't used to that. But you see tonight, Margate set up in a similar way as Carshaw. Yes, yeah. And we were a lot better equipped um, to deal with that. So, as I said, the learning from the Carshaw game has been taken forwards and we've applied it really well tonight. And I, I just think when you've got players like Tommy Penfold and 
like Jerry, who's coming to the side, Ollie Black, Charlie Granger, Adam mm. Lovett, Jack Dixon. If I'm a forward player, you just got to trust them that they'll get the ball to you. They're really good players. So it's not as if you need to go looking for it. You know, yeah. they, they will find you. So you've just got to be disciplined and stay away and, and hold your space. And I thought we'd done that really well, which is why I think for first half, if we'd gone in 5 0 up at half time, I, I would have been, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Because the amount of good quality chances we created. So, and I think a big part of that was players standing still, letting the game come to them, trusting mm. the players in deeper areas to, to yeah. serve them the ball. Um, so that's why John got 1v1 so much against a fullback, because he just stayed away. Yes. Because rather than rotating and running around all over the place where he's, he's coming towards a ball, but he finds himself getting turned and now he's got seven players between him and the goal, he's now got one because mm. he's stayed away. So he, he might touch it 30% less, but his impact is 90% more. Yeah. So. So yeah, no, that was that was um, <clears throat> positive. That was really positive. Yeah, and talking about people like Tom and that and Kean, Tom and Kean in that position supporting da- David yeah. almost, and then Adam and Jack mm. behind them. Yeah, that looks a really nice setup now. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I think Jack Dixon play has played his two best games in the Hastings shirt last two games. I think he's been mm. excellent. Um, I mean, tonight he was a beast. I mean, to be honest, after about an hour, he was like cramping up and and I, we were like no we've got to keep him out there because he had such a positive impact on the game so you know Margate were you know relatively direct and are going to chip the ball on top of you and Dicko's very good aerially and we needed his his aerial quality ball so he's very good at getting around the second ball and but so we needed him out there tonight so um, and that's probably a reflection of how well he's played last couple of mm. games. As I said, other like 20 minutes, slow start against Hashtag, then I thought for 70 minutes he was excellent. And then tonight I thought he was superb. So that's good because him and Adam's relationship is blossoming. So like with Adam, he sh- Adam's showing what, what a good player he is because again, when he's got Jack Bates with him, mm. Bates is more wants to go in, get on the ball, connect it all together and join it up. You know, he, he wants to pass it. And, and Adam's you know, such a good team player. He recognises that actually, for me, best to support Jack. I'm going to let him do that. And I'm going to mm. do a lot of the donkey work and sort of the old, I'll oh, carry the piano, Jack plays it sort of thing. Yeah. Um, whereas now, because Dicko is a different player to Bates, he's a little bit more front foot, box to box. Um, plays forwards a little bit more, like doesn't want to come in and connect it as much. He wants to sort of get the ball off the forwards, combine with them and then break. Adam's now taking up Jack Bates' role where mm. he's dropping in and connecting it all together again. So yeah. I just think it highlights what a good player Adam Lovett is. And, and it's just, seeing, as I said, seeing that relationship develops. Exciting. But probably probably the most exciting thing about it is Tommy Fagg. Yeah, Cause we, we, exactly. Still like to that, come. That, well, and the thing is, when Tommy Fagg's fit, Tommy Fagg plays. That's, yes. you know, that's... that's it's like Adam Love it, you know, it's, it's, you know, when he's fit, he plays. You know, he's that important to us, like David. It's like Charlie Granger, like, mm. so that's going to be really interesting um, because, as I said, those four have done really well. And, but again, Tommy coming in um, strengthens us. And as I said, it's a good opportunity to see how, as I said, if, if he'll come in for one of Kian or Tom or we'll look at changing the position of one of them potentially because I said Tom... I think Tom's excellent as a right back, right wing back. I think Gary Elphick done some great work with him. Mm. So obviously we moved him there tonight. So I think the natural thing to do is obviously Tommy Fagg comes in and then Tom potentially moves wider. And then it's another opportunity for Freddie Legg, Sam McCoy to go, you know, I've come out of the side. How can I react Mm. and and go again? So the competition for places is is, um, heating up quite nicely. Beginning to get some nice problems. Yeah, well, like Jag, Jag tonight, like, pfft, I mean, he's been training with us for two, two, three months and he's played in Serie C. He's a mm. proper player. I mean, as I said, his nickname's Gattuso amongst the lads. Cause right, he's, interesting. <laughs> right, I've stopped getting involved in training, one, because I'm not good enough, but also two, because he will kick you. Like, he's one of them. He's like, pfft, he's an absolute beast in there. So mm. that's a massive addition for us because he's a dif- different type, different type, so... Yeah, it's, um, it's, a gr- it's a great signing as well. And almost his first action this evening was a lovely ball yeah. inside the fullback for John. So yeah, he's, good he's, vision. Oh, he's one of them. He always looks like he's got time on the ball. And he, do you know what he is? He's really good at, he knows what he can and can't do. So he's, 
Um, everything he does looks relatively simple, but he breaks play up, puts his foot in. As I said, he's got a real edge. Like he trains how he plays. Mm. Um, yeah, no, that's a that's a massive massive signing for us. Massive plus. Yeah, and obviously Gerby who came on this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first full start, and looked he looked the part as well. Yeah, Jer- Jerry's. Um, Jerry's, as I said, he's, 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 uh, he's been really impressive since he's come in training. Um, so he trained all of last week. Um, <clears throat> didn't have the best of times at Dulwich. Um, no, it, wasn't, it wasn't for him, so their loss is definitely our gain. Um, and uh, yeah, no, he recognises that the way that we play will help him develop as a player. Mm. His attributes, we will massively benefit from I mean you see that tonight he's, he's not played since December and um, in the middle of December he's come in he's been part of a really solid defensive performance his presence is is, uh, is massive in both boxes so, and he's only going to get better and most of all he's a really good lad like wants to improve wants to develop and you know, he's got experience of a high level as well so yeah we, we've done some really good business which um which I think has put us in a really good position to attack the next couple of months. Yeah, yeah, he looked comfortable on the ball and just, yeah, just lo- didn't look like a player who was short a game. No, 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 he's, re- he's very good. Re- really, really pleased with him. Yeah, so, I mean, overall, defensive line looks good. Midfield is settling in. Yeah. The forwards are sharp. Yeah. David certainly sharp. Yeah. 23, 24 goals yeah. now, isn't yeah. it? He's, so, he's, he's, he's brilliant. <laughs> David's brilliant. As I said, right, the idea of him playing anywhere other than centre forward, mm. I can't get my head around it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I really believe that this level, the level above, the level above that, if you put him between the sticks and you give him decent service, he will score. And we're seeing mm. that. Um, and his link play is getting better as well. So I thought he was very good on Saturday. So when the ball's coming up to him, he's bringing other people into play off one and two touch rather than it bouncing off him. He's affecting centre-backs more. So his all-round game's improving. Um, I mean, his first goal tonight, the movement to get across the front mm. and then the finish is... It's a... It's, a, no, it's top. So subtle, no, you, so classy. Genuinely, you, you, you yeah. can see that in the Premier League and Championship. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, it was a brilliant finish. So it was his first bit of movement as well. He's, he's drifted out of the eye line of the centre-back and then just as obviously John's about to deliver, he's ghosted across the front. Mm. By the time the centre-back's seen him, it's too late. He's, and there's a great glance and finish to the outside his right foot. Brilliant goal. Yeah, and finished off with two late goals. Mm. Another good, another great little break from John. Yeah. And a lovely little finish from Kean to yeah. top off his game. Yeah, deserved as well. Like, we, as I said, uh, we deserve to... We, I, I think we deserve to be Dulwich. We... You know, we deserve to win that game. That game, like, as I said, I, f- I thought at half time when we go- we're going in 1 1, I thought, Phew, game could be done. Mm. So tonight, I was really keen to get that point across to the players. We deserve to win. We should beat these. Like, as, you know, we're better than them. As arrogant as that might sound, I just yes. thought, no, yeah. no, we should win. You know, we- we've played that well. Make sure we convert that performance into three points because we deserve it. And that's not necessarily a reflection of Margate. That's more where I think we're at. And as I said, we, we didn't do it against Dulwich. And, you know, you come away from that game, you go, oh, Drew 2-2. Two, two. You know, they're, they're celebrating like they've won the Champions League on the pilot field. And you're thinking, you know, as I said, their manager's saying that, you know, they you know they were well worth the point. And you're thinking, well, really? And then you watch your game back and you go, well, we could be five up at halftime. Yeah. So, again, it was really important for the group tonight to, you know, very good performance, but then, you know, convert, convert that into a convincing win. Yeah, so. and that's the difference, isn't it? We we allowed Dulwich back into the game yeah. where there was no chance of these two getting back yeah. into the game. Hashtag no. or Margate this evening. It's got to be ruthless. Like mm. as I said, in the first half, we weren't ruthless enough. I, I felt we got onto their back line consistently and we sort of arrived in the final third, but we take an extra touch or the pass was loose or we go ourselves, and you go, just pass it. Just, mm. you know, like, and, and I said to lads, yeah, great. You know, it's one of them. That you look back at the season, I score 15 goals, but you finish 12th. Yeah. Like, no one cares. Whereas you, you score 10 goals, you've, you've set your mate up another 10 times 
and you finish at the top end of the table, you're going, mm. well, that's what matters. And I think I was pleased second half that I thought our decision making around the box, like John, John could have shot, but he didn't. He's rolled his mate, yes. great pass. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, no, great decision and uh, great goal, deserved. Yeah, very positive two games mm. and a massive week coming up away at Kingstonian. Yeah. Um, having their own problems, but mm. it's still a tr troublesome away game. Yeah, and it? then two big, big games back here, Horsham and Lewis. Lewis yeah. Must be looking forward to that. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, um, Kingstonian's going to be a tough game because I, I, I still think Kingstonian one of the best teams we played, mm. genuinely. Like when we played them, I thought, that's... That's a tough game. Like that game could have gone either way. It was three-two, and Freddie Leg come on and changed that game and was great. And I, I keep looking at the results. I'm thinking, how are you down there? Because yeah. I, they're so awkward and they're so well organised. Like the way their team was set up against us. You know, we we used up a fair bit of luck. I think on on that day, like we, you know, to sort of come away with three points. So we we go into the Kingstonian game knowing that when we look at the run of games. Mm. That, that was right up there in terms of that's going to be tough. So, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll go into that, we'll prepare thoroughly as we always do. Um, and then not really think too much about the other two games. No. They're great, like big Sussex derbies and, and all the rest of it. But, you know, it's, it's pointless if we don't go and um, convert um, another three points against Kingstonian but again that, that's that's going to be really difficult because I think they're a very good side and as I, as I said I think their their league positions I say false but I can only speak on what I've seen yes. and every time I've seen them I thought they're a good side and as I said like their manager's very good they're very well organised they've got good players so it's going to be going to be a real test yeah and Tommy Fag back for that hopefully 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 yeah so <clears throat> he's uh Hopefully we'll get him in training. He, he done a bit last week. Um, hopefully we'll get him back in on Thursday. So, yeah, that, that can't come quick uh, quick enough. Because um, as I said, as, as, as well as we've played over the last couple of games, he's, like against Cheson, he was just starting to cook a yeah. little bit. And right, as I said, if he was playing tonight, I think, I think four would have been more. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to him coming back into the side. Brilliant. And a word about Sam Gale. Has Sam gone back to Gillian? No, no, no. So he, so he, uh, he played. Uh, he played today for their B team. So part of the arrangement with Gillingham is that when there's a potential clash in fixtures, we sort of uh, give them the opportunity because they don't have a massive games program yeah. with their B team. So for any opportunities he's got to, he's got to um, play for play for them. Um, you know we're. You know, we've got to be. You know, Gillian have been brilliant to us. Yes, for sure. Uh, and and uh, as I said, it, you know, he's got the opportunity to play. So um, that's another interesting one as well because it's mm. a has been great for us. So yeah, sure thing. Good yeah. competition for places going into the weekend. Mm. No, no. Oh, you well, just reminded me of that. I forgot to be fair. So <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's, that's a another one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope he had a good game this evening. But not too good. No, I was going to say, yeah. Not, <laughs> but, uh, not too good. Might not see him again. Yeah, but yeah. He's, he's done really, really well for us. So, um, you know, people have really appreciated how he's taken to it here. Yeah. And um, good for him. Yeah, no. It's brilliant. Yeah. Obviously, thank you to Gillian because they've been, yeah. they've been brilliant with it. So, originally, it was only going to be a month and they've recognised it's been really beneficial for him and the people that, you know, Gailey's working with as well, like in terms of, like, who represents him they've all been very good and it's all been on the same page because sometimes you can talk to players agents and things like that and you think you know we're, we're not on the same page here whereas they've been very good and between us Gillingham and the people that work closely with him it's been a real united front which is helping Sam move in the right direction so yeah no it's a, a been a really really positive line brilliant so many well, yes, yeah, so that, that's a positive. So many positive mm. stories, really good. Yeah. So we go into the Kingstonian game, and then, like you said, after that, start thinking about those big games yeah. at the pilot field. Yeah, Kingstonian Saturday, two massive games here at the pilot field afterwards. Hard not to think ahead to those yeah. as a fan, I know, even though Chris yeah, doesn't. Yeah. Um, fans can, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. So much to look forward to here. Two fantastic results, two clean sheets, six goals. What more could you want? See you all again soon. It's going well. Cheers. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thank you.